<laughs> Goosebumps. Cold. Ay, 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 ay. Oh, you're not to move. Hey. Baby, you're the catchy cold. Hey. Akpato, you're not to Hey. Guys, I have goosebumps all over my body. Like goosebumps the size of ice cubes are all over my body right now. Guys, I am catching cold. And I bet you two will catch cold by the time I'm done narrating today's story to you. So hello guys, what's up and welcome back to my YouTube channel and welcome to another interesting episode of the crazy week that was with Barista Neze. <laughs> it's me again, your girl Barista Neze and this is Nezeville. You see, when I come on here to tell you ladies, do not kill yourself over any man. And men too, don't kill yourself over any woman. You guys will say Neze Ibiakwa. Neze, you have come. What is it this time around? But you see, in this my business, <laughs> my eyes have seen, <laughs> my ears have heard, and my mouth, <laughs> it will continue to talk about amazing wonders that happen in this life. And whether you guys want to hear it or not, I will tell you. You see, some women, in the heat of an argument or a fight with their man, you hear them say, I will kill myself, I will kill myself for you. And they're there thinking, that it is a threat, <laughs> not knowing that it is a favor. Some women are there thinking that when they hurt themselves due to the ill treatment that they are receiving from their partners, that the man will actually miss them, that the man will feel some kind of guilt or shame, that the man will regret his actions, that the man will stay wishing bitterly that he could turn back the hands of time and bring them back. Like his life will be miserable without you. <laughs> In reality, most times, these men feel relieved. They feel free at last. They heave a sigh of relief and do the happy dance. And then they hook up with the next girl and move on. While your ghost will be in one corner in the room, <laughs> crying and watching them make love on your matrimonial bed. My sister, what did I tell you? No, 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 hold your ears. No, 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 not one ear. Hold the two ears and listen. Do not, <laughs> do not kill yourself over any man. Do not kill yourself over any man. <laughs> and do not kill yourself over any woman. What is killing yourself over a partner or a spouse that didn't love or appreciate you in your lifetime? So I wonder how then in the crazy hell you would expect or believe that that person that could not respect you during your lifetime will begin to love and appreciate you or even miss you when you are gone. It was before us hero, <laughs> before our Koro Koro eyes, that DJ Brownskin's wife thought that threatening him <laughs> that she was going to take her own life, was going to shake her husband to start treating her better. This woman mixed the poisonous substance and drank it right before her husband and died to the full glare of the husband while the husband sat there, crossed his leg and was recording her. He didn't do as little as flinch a muscle. He did absolutely nothing to save her. He sat and watched her getting entertained while she died slowly and painfully that man has moved on oh <laughs> up until now as we speak i'm not sure there has been any arrests he is working freely as a free man perhaps <laughs> he has hooked up with the next girl while his wife his wife lays in the mug cold okay let us bring it closer home let us take a look at the case of the late bimbo and ivd bimbo was team bonnie and clyde ride or die grind and wind bimbo dropped out of school for this man bimbo had five children for this man bimbo stuck to him through thick and thin bimbo made countless enemies because of this man she even went as far as getting diabolical and fetish just to bring him good luck and wealth god damn it no be me talk am. she was the one that admitted it with her own mouth and how did it end she allegedly lit the house on fire and burned to death while her husband allegedly did nothing to save her guys six months after <laughs> six months later only six months after bimbo's demise her husband celebrated his birthday in grand style but not only in grand style in company with his new lover <laughs> Oh, you not so more. Hi. 
Guys, I'm cold. I'm not angry, yo. <laughs> I am not angry at all. This is not my angry face. I am more of surprised. I am amazed. I am perplexed. I am astonished. I am flabbergasted. Your wife of 17 years, <laughs> mother of your five children, a woman whom you stand accused of killing. I mean, the matter just got to court. A woman who I'm not even sure has been buried yet. And a few months later, you're celebrating your birthday in style with another woman. And the worst of it all is that you now brought it to social media to flaunt it. Okay, even if he chooses to celebrate, oh, okay, fine, fine, fine. Life is for the living. We're not going to pack up our lives and bring our lives to an end because of we lost our spouse, blah, 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 right? Why does he have to showcase it on social media? To what end? Is it to tell the world that she has been replaced? Is it clouds chasing or is it simply lack of emotional intelligence? Like, what do you hope to achieve? And to make it all the more worse, is that of all the daughters of Eve to move on with, of all the women in the world that IVD could move on with. He chose his wife's sworn enemy, a woman who took to social media to mourn, mock and scorn her only a few hours after her death. The controversial blessing CEO who was just arrested and arraigned a few weeks ago for all the libel and slander that she had said against the late bimbo. That is the woman that her husband chose to come to social media to flaunt love cake and candles and all those things with. Can you imagine? Kai, life is a pot of beans. So my people, anytime somebody comes to you with trauma love, touch your love, smile today, cry tomorrow, BP love and ride or die literally. Please remember this epic case of Bimbo and IVD. And when you do, don't forget to carry the person <laughs> and kick the person to the corner. Go and buy hot suya, pepper suya or pepper snail and gizzard. <laughs> With cold hero or big stout, cold one, not ordinary one, no cold hero. And drink it. <laughs> drink it from the bottle, you know. Come, 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 come. Ooh, that type of drinking. Drink that big stout and when you finish, move on from that person because now who they are alive they love and if that love kills you best believe that that man that you feel will regret <laughs> and sit miserable in penury wondering why he has missed the rib of his rib and the red gem that man will not miss you that man will move on faster than you imagine and before your burial Another woman will enter your house. <laughs> the house you labored to build with him for 20 years. She will enter and bring down your portraits from the wall. Pack it and throw it away. Put it, lay your bed sheet, that special bed sheet that you reserved for your anniversary. She will lay it and they will start scaling you. While your ghost will be tossing and turning in your coffin. Give yourself a brain. So guys, do let me know what you think about this Ivy, this birthday and all the love flaunting cake, teddy bear, rose petals and wine and lovey lovey that he flaunted in the crazy week that was. Do you think that it is no fault of his? <laughs> man no die, man no rotting, he has to move on. After all, he didn't force the woman to light up the house and get burned in an inferno. Do you think that he deserves love and he deserves to move on? Everybody heals differently and his life cannot be on standstill just because he lost his wife. Or do you think that it is rather too early and rather too insensitive for Ivy to take to social media to start flaunting lovey lovey with that very woman on social media especially bringing it on social media especially considering the circumstances that led to his wife's death and especially with this particular woman do let us know what you think about this down in the comment section <laughs> this life no balance oh my god this life no balance at all while some of us are looking for one boo, just one boo to settle down with, yet we are struggling. <laughs> some of us have not been able to get married once, while some others are getting married once, two times, three times. This life no balance. This knot that you people are tying, make sure I don't finish this knot, oh. <laughs> don't finish this knot that you are tying every Saturday, oh. Maybe we should cut soap for some of us. Let us know in the comment section. What is the secret? Is it jazz? Is it juju? What is the secret that is making some people get married three, four, five times while some others have not even seen one boo to take to the altar? 
only a few videos ago, I just said you guys about Nollywood director Tichi the Chikere and his ex-wife Sophia and his now ex-ex-wife Noella. And why are you guys looking at me like that? You didn't watch the video. Hey, oh, you think you're not subscribed? Oh, yeah, start to hit the subscribe button now, 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 now. If you're not subscribed, hit the subscribe button and turn on your bell notification so you guys can be following this just sequentially as it is coming hot, hot, okay? So, TGD got married to me first, and after three sons and many years of marriage, TGD ended the marriage. He was alleging plenty, all sorts. It's not cook for him, did this to him, he's a bad woman, has boyfriends here and there. The allegations. Oh, so why Tichidi kept on insisting that it was because of Sophia's irresponsibility that the marriage ended? Sophia was like, no, 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 don't go there. It is because of this, your colleague, Noella, that is why you are divorcing me. I don't know whether to call it a coincidence or <laughs> fate or whatever it is. But only shortly after that marriage ended between Tichidi and Sophia, Tichidi got married to Noella. And people were like, oh, <laughs> she was right after all. But that marriage between Tichidi and Noella also did not last though. Because only a few years into that marriage and one daughter later, Tichidi and Noella's marriage broke up. Fell like a pack of cards. And a few weeks back, Tichidi took to social media to announce that he has gotten married for the third time. And let us not forget also that his first wife, Sophia, has also moved on and gotten remarried and people are like this marriage that you people are sharing there is god oh. there is god in everything we do this marriage you are sharing now the last of that case has not even been heard because only a few days ago in the crazy week that was photos of noella tying the knot <laughs> this knot when this will go soon finish tying the knot with a mystery man surfaced online of course in the case in that noella has also gotten remarried. She was pictured in some sort of court wedding ceremony with her new man, Jean Carlos, an Anambra man based in Holland. And according to Cho 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 here and there, this Mr. Jean is not a new face in Nollywood. <laughs> when I say that, I don't mean that he's an actor. He's not an actor, he's not a director, he's not a producer, he's not a script writer, he's not a costume person, but he's not a new face in Nollywood, if you get what I mean. So congratulations are in order for Noella. Let us just hope that this is not a pepper them marriage. This is not a pay me back marriage. This is not a do me, I do you kind of marriage. Let us hope that it is born out of love and togetherness. Let us hope that it is forever and for always. And let us hope also that this man was not taken from somebody else. So, so it is fine, it is well. We wish her all the best. We are rooting for her. But referee, let us call the referee. PPP referee. What is the score? Noella 2, Sophia 2, TGD 3. TGD is still winning in this soccer match. It's all right. Let us know what you think about this situation down in the comment section. To wrap up this video, our last story is a very sad one but packed with plenty of lessons. It is the story of Kenyan influencer Brenda Ochola, better known as Brenda Licious, who passed while allegedly trafficking drugs. Brenda had arrived at the airport at Malaysia when the cocaine she was allegedly carrying in her stomach, which she allegedly ingested, burst in her stomach. She was said to have fallen down and started foaming in the mouth and security operatives rushed to her, tried to take her to the hospital, but it was too late. She passed on. According to some sources, 34 capsules of cocaine were allegedly found in her stomach. But wait a second. What again is the penalty for drug trafficking in Malaysia, it attracts the death penalty. So are we saying that Brenda Licious would risk losing her life to traffic drugs for money? A review of her social media accounts and posts documented her on lavish lifestyles, regular foreign trips, flaunting expensive fashion items, and very lavish vacations. Well, although some sources claim that Brenda didn't pass from rupture of cocaine in her abdomen, this incident has, however, raised the conversation on the fake life on social media and the length, the extent that young ladies are willing to go these days just for the gram. Young girls going to the very extreme to project a picture of themselves, even when it exposes them to danger or death. You go on social media and you see these young girls flaunting unexplained wealth, young unemployed girls, 
flaunting wealth that boy oh boy even people that have worked for 20 years do not have access to no known or legitimate source of income and yet nobody bothers nobody questions these wealth nobody asks nobody bothers rather everybody admires the results and looks forward to being like that you go on instagram now and half the ladies there have on their profile for booking dm me and you go through the person's page Egu, inapo, itochi, ineme. You're not a musician, you're not a comedian. What is the booking for? What are they booking you for? You see women who call themselves professional masseuse and they will put on their prize list ordinary massage, 10,000, massage with happy ending, 25,000, 35,000. And I'm like, which one is happy ending? So the ordinary one, does it end in tears? You hear, I sell male joggers. I sell male t-shirts. One shirt is 5,000 naira if you pick up from the shop. But if you want me to deliver it to your house, it's 25,000 naira. And you're wondering, mm, are you a bike lady? Or you are the power bike? Are you a dispatch woman? What is the extra 20,000 naira for on that shirt when you deliver it? by yourself and you are like weary <laughs> weary know that these guys stop disguising if this is who you are come out and own it with your full chest and tell us what you are so i'm asking again are you guys seeing what i'm seeing on a only me waka come daytime prostitution under the guise of different names escort hookup hey chinneke me asha we don't get corporate profile our young girls trafficking drugs going to arab countries to engage in all sort of depraved condescending sexual acts for money and instagram pictures for aesthetics and what makes it all the more painful is that young struggling girls who are genuinely climbing the slow stairs of success are constantly modeling their lives after these people comparing themselves to them feeling like failures feeling unlucky feeling depressed and feeling slow but before we end this video i just want to remind you that you are doing just fine watch who you admire watch who you look up to watch who you compare your pace with please if you are engaged in any legitimate business keep up your grind stay confident stay hard working keep pushing and for certain one day it go better if I'm talking to you, drop in the comment section and say, yes, Neze. So guys, do let me know what you think in the comment section about this culture. It is a culture of make it by all means. Do you think we're ready for this conversation? <laughs> or do you think that we should just mind our business <laughs> and firm our lips? Do let me know what you think about this case down in the comment section and do let me know what you think about all what we have spoken about today. Your opinion on IVD and Bimbo, your opinion on the Noella. TGD and Sophia story and of course this model this Instagram influencer who allegedly was trafficking drugs drop all your comments down in the comment section so guys we have finally come to the end of today's episode of the crazy week that was with barista neze don't forget to drop all your comments down in the comment section if you're yet to subscribe do well to hit the subscribe button turn on your bell notifications give this video a big thumbs up and stay glued because we have so much more coming your way it's me your girl barista neze and this is neze i'll see you guys in my next one for now bye